Hi friends, welcome to my channel. It's Rachel here and today I'm doing a vlog. This weekend is Crop and Create Delivered Paper Crafting 2022 and um, I want to show you the whole weekend what I'm up to. Um, there should have already been a video up on my YouTube channel of the unboxing of what we got for Crop and Create but otherwise I wanted to just take you with me this weekend, show you what I'm up to and uh, yeah, that's about it. So I'm gonna show you my desk setup and what I've got going for the weekend. It's about 9.20 right now. We have an hour until the first class starts. So I'm gonna go on a quick run once I show you my desk setup, setup just because I know I'm gonna be sitting all day. So I just wanna move my body to start the day off and have lots of energy. So we're gonna do that. And I'm so excited for today. So stay tuned for this entire vlog. And I know last time I showed a lot of the prep work I did for Crop and Create, if you saw that last vlog from April, but I've just been so busy this week that I didn't have time to do too much prep, but I will take you along this whole weekend with me. So let's do the desk. All right, here is the desk setup I have going on. We move the dining room table over here. And on the TV up there, I will have the classes. And then there I'm doing video chat with some friends. So that's what I'll, I, I'll have on the computer. And then I have the box of all of my supplies. And I have everything I'm going to need for the weekend, at least most of it. So we have adhesive, glue, um, punches, scissors, inks, all that kind of stuff, and then paper clips, and trimming board, and scoreboard, and uh, I have my schedule as well, and then leftover Halloween candy. And yeah, this is basically what my setup looks like. I do have more snacks, but I'll prep that more today because today is the smaller day or the shorter day of the three, or at least a least jam-packed day. So I will get to all of that um, later on because I didn't have much prep time, but I'm feeling good about this setup. So I'm excited for the first class at 10.30. Here is the schedule, I got it printed out. So today is 10.30, Doodlebug class with Virginia, presentation from scrapbook.com, pocket page class with Jess, attendee kit with Virginia, holiday card class with Jana, and then happy hour on Facebook at 8. So it's a jam-packed day. I'm so excited, but I'm going to go on that run and then we'll start our day. <laughs> All right, here is the update. Hanging out here, Laurel. And we did one class, yeah, one class. And there was a presentation. Didn't really pay attention to either of them because we just chatted, but it was great. And now we are about to start um, Jess's class. So that's the midday update. All right, it's time for an update. So it is quarter to three now. And so far we've had, I think I mentioned this previously, we had the, the um, doodle bug um, class with Virginia that was doing the shadow box. We had a presentation from scrapbook.com. And then we had a pocket page class with Jess, which was great. I'll show you what I made. I hardly did much. So I started it, didn't get very far. Um, oops. But once I get pictures, I'll add them and it'll get better. But uh, I started it. And then in 15 minutes, we have a class with Virginia. She's the one who did the shadow, shadow box class this morning. Um, and so I'll show you what I make from that. And then we have a holiday card making class also this afternoon. And then like a little party thing tonight. So we still have a little bit of the day to go, but tomorrow will be like the big day and there's going to be a lot of fun to look forward to tomorrow. Today has been great so far. Laurel and I have chatted all day and that's always fun and I always love that time together. So yeah, I'm going to get to the class in a few minutes and I'll show you what I make this afternoon. Another question. Let's see. What is a cardstock only page? All right. So that would be where you use cardstock for background. Use cardstock. All right. It is 10 p.m. I am tired. We had a full day. Um, I can't remember when I last chatted with you all, but we had the pocket page class. Okay. Let me, let's go through the whole day. We had the, the shadow box class, which I didn't really do. 
the presentation from scrapbook.com. The pocket page class with Jess, which I started but didn't really do much. Um, the class with Virginia and I, I did one layout. I'll show you in a second. And then, oh, the card class, which I did completely. And then we had the happy hour on Facebook, which was over an hour long. And I did a layout for that too, because they had like um, a sketch challenge that I participated in. So that was really fun. Um, but tomorrow is the big day, even though this felt like a very full day. Um, chatted with Laurel and Fleur this evening. We had two breaks today. And so for the second break, Andy and I went on a walk, which was great because there's lots of sitting. Um, sorry for the reflection in my glasses, but let me show you what we made. So over here we have all of the cards and these are from Simple Stories, Baking Spirits Bright. Um, and I love how these cards turned out. It's just with the card kit, so like you can do it on your own, but these were just like mini classes, bonus classes. Here's a schedule. The official day starts tomorrow with all of the big classes, which I'm very excited about. And then over here with the sketch, I did this layout. This is one of the layouts I did for, I think, Virginia's class, maybe. And this one as well. I kind of took a turn with these things, but it's fine. So the class that I'm looking forward to most tomorrow is Vicki Booten's class. I'm excited to learn some mixed media from her. Um, the last time I did Crop and Create, she did a mini album, so there wasn't any mixed media. And I love her, like, Friday night um hangouts that she does where she does a lot of mixed media so I'm excited to learn from her and play with her new collection Sweet Rush so that's what tomorrow looks like and obviously so many more classes but that's what I'm looking forward to the most tomorrow um I'll take you along with me on how it goes but I'm going to bed now so good night hi hi everyone I don't remember last time I updated but um we did Megan's class my layout. I'm gonna turn this down. Sorry, I have the video on. Um, I did her class. I did not do all of the layouts. Um, just not my style. So I just watched and hung out with Laurel, and it was great. Um, next up, we have like a design talk thing for an hour or so, or I don't know how long it's gonna be, but uh, two o'clock is Vicky's class. So um, that's coming up. It is almost one o'clock right now. So I'm gonna grab lunch and eat while I watch um, the design talk and then uh, prep and get ready for Vicky's class so I can be all in with that. Hello everyone. I apologize for not updating too much today, um, but we had Becky Adams class and Vicky Booten's class and a lot of those things aren't really glued or anything, so I won't show you them, uh, but I will make a video. Oh, I see a bug. I will make a video um, for my YouTube channel showing all the projects I made and what products I have left and all of that stuff. So that will be coming. Um, it is, I think it's nine o'clock. Let me check. Yes, it's nine o'clock. Um, so I'm just gonna prep some things for Paige Evans class tomorrow because I believe that's right in the morning. So I wanna make sure I have all that done and ready and that's the one I'm looking forward to the most. Um, tomorrow we have Victoria Calvin's class and I'm excited about that. And there's a lot going on tomorrow, but I'm just gonna finish up some projects and then I'm gonna go to bed soon. And it's been a really fun day. Hi everyone, it is day three. Andy and I decided to start our day by going on a walk and we got some books, some coffee, um, and some chimney cakes, if you know what that is. Um, there was a new place that just opened up locally, so we are having a lovely morning out. We love our Sunday morning walk. Go Bills. <laughs> Go Bills, there's a Bills and Jets game today that I'll watch during the um, retreat. Uh, you know, I got multiple screens going, but now we're gonna walk back home. I think it's only like quarter after nine and the first class doesn't start till like 10 45 or 11. So anyway, meet you back at home. Hey friends, I have not been on here at all because I have literally been on in the classes and on FaceTime with Laurel and Fleur since 11 a.m. and it's now almost 6 p.m. So it's been a jam-packed day. Um, at 6.30, we have the final Facebook Live of the day, of the weekend, with some giveaways and things. But I just wanted to quickly show you some things that I did. Um, and today we had, oh gosh, we had so much today. I've lost track. We had Paige Evans' class, Victoria Calvin's class, 
was Becky Adams class today or was that yesterday? I don't know. Jana's class was today. Becky Adams must have been yesterday then. <laughs> like I'm, it's been it's been a packed weekend. So um I will do a video showing everything in complete detail, but I'll just show you some things I've made. And these don't have sewing on them or anything because I just wasn't at my sewing machine in the middle of classes and I have to attach these to cards. This was like a warm up basically because it was the card kit. So it was kind of like a little bonus class. So that was that. And then this was Victoria's class. I definitely changed it up a bit, but used her concepts. And then this one's my favorite. I'm not saving the best for last because I'm just going for what's in my pile here. But this is Paige Evans class, double page spread. I think this is just the coolest thing ever and definitely was my favorite part of the day. And I don't have pictures printed. So this is another Paige Evans one that I have to get uh, pictures printed for. So there's that. And then this one was Becky Adams. It has a little flip up. Again, I need photos. This one I believe was on the first day and same with this one. And then some pocket pages that I hardly started. I don't have any pictures printed, so, <clears throat> which is okay. You don't have to have pictures printed, but that's why it looks so blank. But yeah, so that, that's it. I know I didn't vlog as much as I probably should have and as much as I wanted to. Oh, there's one more thing. Today with Jana, we made this album. I only got about a third of the way done because I, by the, by today, I was just so done and burnt out with all of the thinking. But this is the album we have been working on. And again, I don't have pictures or photo mats or anything like that, but lots of different pockets and fun things. Um, so this is an album that I have to continue working on, but, um, it's just so beautiful, isn't it? So I will finish that another day, but it was good to get started and kind of like get the hang of it. And I did all of the, most of the prep work. So I just kind of have to put it together, but it was really fun. That was kind of my weekend in a nutshell. Uh, like I said, I did not vlog and share as much as I wanted to because like I said, I was constantly watching these videos. They were back to back to back to back. So it was really hard to keep up, but I had the whole weekend uh, booked for this um, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, thank you to Laurel for hanging out with me all weekend. Fleur joined us for like about half of it. Tony came in and said hi at one point and that was great um, to all be together, the four of us at one point. So that was awesome. I am also doing the holiday event that's in two weeks. It's a little bit different because it's a mix of things. So I think we have traveler's notebook, cards, other things. I don't remember what, but there it's more of a mix. And this was very, I found it was very layout heavy, even though there's one mini class with cards and one uh, mini album. I still felt it was really heavy into the scrapbooking. So the next one is going to be like a good mix. That's a two day event instead of three. Um, it's a Friday and Saturday. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm looking forward to um, getting into like the Christmas spirit and Christmas scrapbooking and Christmas projects. Um, I think I'm feeling ready for that, ready for a switch up. I do have my Christmas stuff sitting on my desk already at the time of filming this because we're doing Christmas mix and mingle class, Flora and I. So I have been already digging into the Christmas stuff already, but I'm ready to learn something new. As much as I love to teach classes, I also love to take classes, obviously. So I'm really excited to take this one. And anyway, now I'm just rambling. I have to, before the Facebook Live starts in uh, probably half hour now, 40 minutes, I'm going to film some YouTube videos. So I still have lots of work to do tonight, but um, thank you for joining me in this vlog. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer them. I'm not like affiliated with Crop and Create or Scrapbook and Cards Day or anything. So I'm happy to answer anything and be completely honest. I am yeah, I, it's a lot of money to spend for some people. For me, at least, it's a lot of money for one weekend. So uh, not that they don't deserve it, but you want to know if it's going to be worth it for yourself because everyone is into different things. So um, I found it was worth it. I really enjoyed my time. And although it's not in person, I still make it the best experience that I can um, 
at home and video chatting with some friends. So it kind of feels as close as it can to an in-person retreat. So I had fun, but let me know if you have any questions to know if it's something that you wanna do in the future because they have one in the spring and in the fall again next year or like November next year, I believe. And then they also have one in-person event in Moncton. Um, I definitely will be saving up for an in-person event, probably not Moncton, but hopefully another city. So hopefully they'll do that in the future so I can join them then. But anyway, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll have all uh, info down below and hope you have a great day. Bye.